Greetings. We want to talk about Marcus Garvey in this episode. Yeah. A whole lot of people are familiar with the name inside and outside of Jamaica. The problem with it is that in Jamaica, even though Marcus Garvey is the first national hero, a lot of people don't know what he stood for, what he stand for. Why is he a first national hero? Most youth, if you ask, well, not most youth, a whole heap of youth right now, and big people, if you ask them about Marcus Garvey, the only thing they know about Marcus Garvey is that in Barn Ascent and, and in the other organization, the name UNI here. If you ask them what is the meaning of UNIA, they don't know. UNIA is the organization that Marcus Garvey and his first wife, Amy Ashwood Garvey, start. They named the Universal Negro Improvement Association. It is and was the largest organization of black people all over the world. 20 million people follow Marcus Garvey. He had, what they call it, Liberation All, or Liberty All, all over the place, all over different countries. No. Marcus Garvey, a lot of people don't know, but if you take up a book that was written by what they call African American, and them talk about the African American heroes, more than likely you see Marcus Garvey's name in the book, even though Marcus Garvey never called himself African American. As a matter of fact, he wasn't African American because Jamaica is born. Anyway, Marcus Garvey decides say, uh, as an organization and referring to Africa, can he say Africa for the Africans, those at home and those abroad. So he decided to set up an organization to transport leadership, goods and services, and people between Caribbean, the Americas, and Africa, especially Liberia. That is where he was heading, Liberia. But money is the problem. So he decided to make it a thing where everybody can contribute to this shipping line. So he started to send out letters and this and this and that. And then the FBI, it was called the FBI at the time, by a man named J. Edgar Hoover. J. Edgar Hoover bringing a black man to infiltrate Marcus Garvey organization. This is the first time a black man went to be an FBI agent. And he was there to really infiltrate Marcus Garvey. And then them catch him and charge him for mail fraud. Not the, not the agent, Marcus Garvey. They charged Marcus Garvey for mail fraud. And he spent five years in a prison. Five years. And then they deport him to Jamaica. Now, a whole lot of people don't know that history. And they don't know that Marcus Garvey founded the first political party in Jamaica. The People's Political Party was formed by Marcus Garvey in Jamaica. Marcus Garvey had different places where he keep meeting. One named Eloise Park. And him have downtown named Liberty Hall. And the thing with Eloise Park, Eloise Park was like an inter well, not like a, it's, it's an entertainment centre. Because for those of us who old and know about Rania Williams, some man, as we would have said, man get bus in a them place there. Spread out him wings because of Marcus Garvey. Marcus Garvey, Liberty Hall was where him do a whole heap of political and social business. And this Liberty Hall was not only in Jamaica. But if you go all over the Caribbean, there was Liberty Halls all over the Caribbean. And then go into America and create one of the biggest upset where he had thousands of people joining the organization and giving speeches even in Madison Square Garden. Madison Square Garden 
was a place where a whole heap of people don't even know, say, Marcus Garvey fooled them place, they attack. Not performing, attack. I don't know which speaker now. Anyway, in a Jamaica can go in a Madison Square Ball and just talk. Maybe an artist. Who going to come forward? Part two.